Last week I uploaded a play along tutorial of House Moving Castle, one of the super nice songs from one of the movies I love to watch. But some of you really liked the song and had some trouble with the tutorial because I didn't explain it. It was just a video where I played the song and shared the sheet music. But in this video I would like to share a little bit more in detail. How could you practice this? What are the most important things to look for when practicing House Moving Castle? So let's start right in the beginning of the piece. When you look at the beginning of the piece, you can see that there's two flats in the piece. So that means that we have to be very careful with which fingers and open strings that we can and cannot play. For instance, the first bar starts with a low first finger. You have to make sure to pull the first finger low enough so that it sounds nice. Low first finger. The next bar and the entire line has everywhere a low first finger. And then we also have a low first finger on the E string. So both on the A string and the E string you have to make sure to pull your first finger low. Then we directly encounter the next problem of the song, or I would say difficulty when practicing it. And that is that the low fourth finger should be played on the A string and that we cannot use an open E string. A very common mistake is that I hear people play this. But no, this should be played as a low fourth finger. You can also use a high third finger instead. That doesn't matter. But as long as you don't play the open E string, it should be an E flat. And that means that it should be a half a tone lower than the sound of the E string. You can hear that it is a different note. Let's start from the beginning again. After that, we continue. Keep playing your first finger low. But the E suddenly becomes a normal E string. So now we don't play the low fourth finger anymore, but an open E string. You can also see the sign in front of the note that basically tells you should play over here a normal E instead of a low fourth finger. This is to remind yourself. Next to that, we should also work on the musicality. So first practice this part for a while, pause the video and then get back to it. Okay, did you practice the part? If not, pause the video. Get your violin. You cannot watch my tutorials without your violin. I don't understand that so many of you are watching this without your violin. I mean, you can of course, but if you have the chance to practice at the moment, you can practice it now with me. That will be so motivating and you will directly practice the actual piece and you will be able to play it better after, you know, these few minutes of watching the video. So let's start in the beginning again. Let's look at the musicality. Now you know the first few notes. We start very soft, then we get louder, loudest, and now we get soft again. Now it is repeating itself. So now we are in bar number 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Bar number 17. And here we are repeating the same, the same part. What I also would recommend for this note, that you don't play it like... Not too much pressure. Really use a light bow. Because it is like a waltz, we should play it like a waltz, like a little bit light and, you know, I think this song has some melancholy to it, you know, you don't want like this. Although it would fit the castle walking because 
it is a really, really heavy castle, but I don't think it works like that also in the movie. It works more like, da, 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 da. you know, it's more like a melancholic atmosphere. So also play that and make sure that, you know, your, your bow should not be pressing too much into the string. Light bowing. You don't have to do a whole lot to bow, you know. Even if I touch the bow with just two hands. It already sounds nice, so basically you have to remember if you bow, the only thing you do is just pull it and push it. You don't have to press so much, especially not in this tune. And here this note, get louder, don't stop. softer. Okay, now we are repeating it. And this is just a small variation. you are a true beginner you could skip this part and just play the same part as that you've played before but this is for those who would like a little bit of an extra challenge i'm teaching you this if you can already play in third position that would be easiest and then get back to first you can also play it in first position open e string so this time again you see the special sign that means that you have to make sure to play the E string as a normal E string again. High third finger, open E, low two, one, low one. And now we are moving to the fourth finger or open E string. But I think it is easier to play it as a regular fourth finger. Four, three, two, three, three. And now we are playing a low second finger. And now high again. So here it is a little bit tricky with the second finger. So we see a sharp sign and the sharp sign that we have to play a high second finger. But if you don't see the sharp sign in the bar after that, we have to play a low second finger, like in the rest of the tune again. So let's have a look right now at bar number 26, 6, 7, 8, 9. Bar number 29. Okay, let's go over all the notes. Four, three, high two, three, and now low two, and now high first finger, high second finger, low two, low first finger, and now high first finger and high second finger. It helps if you put a little bit of, you can put small arrows above the nose to make sure that you know how to play it. Now let's go to the next part, bar 35. So these notes are not that difficult as long as you're reminded to play the first finger low, fourth finger low. Save your bow, slow bow. And again, save your bow. Bar 49, we are getting back to the regular E string. And then we go continue on the regular E string. So we play an E instead of an E flat. Bar 60. So we have E, high third finger, E, low two, low one, E. 
third finger, high second, third, and now we are moving into third position. Move your first finger and place your first finger on the spot of the A. And now we are playing low three, low two, and now you can go first finger, and now go back on the second finger to first position, or you stay in third position. This is probably even easier. Yes, stay in first, third position, please. Third position. Four, three, high three. And now. And maybe here also stay in third. No, no, don't stay in third. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so first, third finger. Second. Now back to first position. And now back to third. And in case that part is too difficult for you, because you are still a beginner, you cannot play third position yet, you can also play this. And then just wait. And then you can continue. And so on. So I hope that this tutorial was helpful to you and you got some ideas of how you could practice this beautiful and nice piece from the movie House Moving Castle. So if you like this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up. And if you still have any questions about it, feel free to ask them in the comments. Also, make sure to subscribe to this channel for my weekly violin lessons. Please click the subscribe button and just post in the comments what videos you would like to see next. Okay, thank you so much and see you at our next lesson next week. Bye bye!